Hello guys and welcome once again to a new video. Uh, today I would like to, to work on this uh, neat little headset for the office. Uh, we have here the Jabra 9400 uh, series. This is a neat uh, little uh, gadget for your office. Uh, first of all, it has a um, lightweight uh, headset that it's uh, detachable and you can uh, dock it on this dock to, to recharge. But the, the nice function of it is that uh, it's not working over the communication between the dock and the headset. It's not uh, actually over Bluetooth, which is limited to only 10 meters, but it's ha it has a technology uh, called DECT, which is um, basically 2.4 gigahertz wireless. So this provides you a wide range. And in my tests, uh, I managed to, to have signal and uh, could uh, uh, had communication over this headset for um, yeah, more than 100 meters around this, uh, this docking station. So I can confirm that this is a really nice uh, piece of uh, unit. Uh, besides this, you can connect this uh, to a computer or a land, also a landline and also via Bluetooth to your uh, mobile phone. So you have three inputs uh, for it. Yeah, it's, it's a really versatile uh, unit. Well, the problem that we are facing today is not with the, the docking station per se, it's uh, with the, the headset. And I had in my, my shop uh, several units like this. The problem with, uh, with the headset with some time is that it's, um, uh, you cannot hear anything in the, in the, um, in the headset. So in both uh, speakers, uh, there is no, um, no sound. And um, yeah, this is a common problem. And I hope uh, this video will, uh, will show you what to do if you have the same, the same problem. Um, yeah, first of all, these are mono uh, speakers. So what you hear in the left uh, uh, speaker, you will hear also in the right speaker. They are designed not for music, but for uh, uh, communication. And basically, both uh, both speakers are connected in uh, in parallel, and uh, the whole electronics are in this uh, part, this side, where you have the mic, and uh, you have only two connections and to the to the speakers, and uh, a small wire is going through this uh, this uh, headband to the other other speaker. So. If you have this problem, I will show you how to how to resolve it. So as I said, everything is located in this this part where you have the boom mic. First of all, we have to uh, to remove this uh, this uh, cushion or padding, however you want to call it. You have to pry it from this part here. Just uh, raise it a little bit, and then just uh rotated and it will uh, slide out like this and this is the motion you will have to apply when you insert it you have you have this i hope you can see it this uh edge here you only attach the margin here and you um rotate it until it's completely fixed like this okay so again Let's remove it, first of all, like this, just a little bit, and then rotate it to come out. Then there is a, this uh, trim here of plastic. We have to remove it, only uh, push it a little bit or pull it a little bit, and then it will slide right off. And then we have access to the three uh, screws that it's uh, holding the, the entire uh, headset together. We have to remove these screws. For this, we will need a Torx bit. Uh, it's a T T5 Torx bit. It's a really small star shape uh, uh, bit. I hope you can see it. So a T5 Torx. 
and we will remove the three um, screws located here so you have to move a little bit the, the boom mic and one here one here and one here so let's remove these screws we have one there are really small screws so be careful not to lose them second one and the third one and the this part where it contains all the electronics and everything comes right off you see you have the battery be, be, uh, behind it it's the the pcb with all the electronics and the contacts and you see here two pins two little pins these are the output for the um, for the speakers now i will show you exactly what's on the other side so you see here we have four uh four wires this means two from the left speakers and two from the right speaker all connected on this pcb with two uh, contact points well the problem with not hearing uh, anything in the speakers is due to this corrosion of these contact points so what you have to do just take a a cotton swab like this take some isopropyl alcohol dip it in isopropyl alcohol and clean this contact points here like this if you want and um, you consider it's really really uh, corroded then just uh, take a, a smaller a screwdriver a flathead a screwdriver and just scrape gently on this uh, pads don't push a little, uh, uh, put a lot of force because you might scrape the traces just scrape a little bit for the contacts to to make a uh, good uh, contact okay then also for the for the pins here just put a little bit of alcohol here and you can use also this screwdriver just to make sure there's no no more corrosion And yeah, that's it. Let the alcohol evaporate. Align back the, the pins with the contact points like this and the screw holes together. Screw back the three screws. Like this. Insert back the plastic trim. like this and then the foam cushion as i said in the beginning of this video just attach here the the edge and then rotate until the cushion is completely attached and to be to be sure that uh, everything is working here there is a button push the button until you see the lights blinking on the headset some red lights indicate that there's no connection to the docking station no problem 
and you can you should hear a chime so hopefully maybe you can hear something but anyway it works you have to believe me you will hear the chime that tells you that uh, the the unit is not connected okay so that's it this is how to repair the no sounding problem for the Jabra, Jabra Pro uh, uh, headset so I hope you you like this video if yes consider subscribing give it a thumbs up and we will see each other in the next one okay take care bye bye Thank you.